Hey everybody, it's Flat Earth Photographer here, and today I wanted to do a short video on a long-distance curvature test that I did from Bayview State Park to Clark Island up in the San Juan Islands in Washington State. The distance between the two locations is approximately 19.59 miles over water, and I used a regular DSLR camera as well as an infrared DSLR camera to capture the images. So here's the location I took the photos from at Bayview State Park on Google Earth. It was approximately 17 feet above sea level at the time of the tide, and the camera was facing northwest at approximately 318 degrees. This is NOAA's chart 18421, and I have overlaid the path from Bayview State Park to Clark Island and also point out where the green buoy channel marker is. In this Google Earth image, you can see the green buoy channel marker's location between Guimas Island on the left and Samish Island on the right. And here's a close-up of the actual channel marker on Google Earth. So for reference, I've included this picture of a green channel marker, typical of what we see in the Puget Sound area. Now we're looking at Clark Island and Google Earth with a distance of 19.59 miles back to Bayview State Park. And I've pointed out the highest point of the island is based on topographical maps. So let's take a look and see what Wikipedia has to say about Clark Island. It is an island in the San Juan Islands in Washington State. It's located near Barnes Island off the northeast coast of Orcas Island and is 55 acres in size. If you look at the yellow arrow, Wikipedia indicates the elevation to be 95 feet in height. This is an infrared shot looking northwest at approximately 318 degrees towards Clark Island, and I used a 50 millimeter lens, which is very similar to what the human eye sees at. I could not see the island at the time I took the photo, but the photo uh, zoomed in here. You should be able to see the slight whitish outline going across the horizon, and that's Clark Island. Now let's take a look at a telephoto shot using a 1,000 millimeter lens on a regular DSLR. As you can see, the green buoy channel marker is indicated on the left at 6.45 miles from Bayview State Park, and the red channel marker is at approximately 8.16 miles on the right. You'll notice from the NOAA chart map, the two buoys line up in relation to the direction of Clark Island from where I took the picture. In this regular photo, you're able to see a lot of Clark Island, and you can see the green buoy channel marker on the left-hand side as well. And in this infrared photo from the same location, you're able to see better detail on the trees and the island itself. So infrared definitely makes a difference when it comes to showing detail when we compare these two images as seen here. Now using an earth curve calculator with an observer height of 17 feet and a target distance of 19.59 miles, we get a hidden target height of 141 feet. Now, as I stated before, the island has a maximum land height of 95 feet per Wikipedia, plus a maximum tree height of approximately 100 feet, and this is being generous for a tree height in the islands. So if we go worst case scenario, the island is approximately 195 feet tall at its highest point. If you look at the hidden target minus the maximum height of the island, including the trees, there would only be 55 feet of treetops that you would be seeing above the horizon as shown in my example here. Yet you can make out all the different types and shapes of trees and even what appears to be a rocky dark coastline of the island. Now let's take a look at Clark Island from Orcas Island looking west and you'll notice the lower portion of the island between north and middle and how they compare to the infrared picture and also notice the dark edged coastline. To me this is clear evidence that there is no curve. The infrared image clearly shows the shape of the island, individual tree shapes and sizes and even a rocky coastline. At a distance of 19.59 miles between the two locations, the globe map tells us 141 feet of the island should be hidden from view, but it's not from what I can determine. As many others will say, including myself, don't take my word for it. Go test it and see what you can come up with. It's only through personal observation and testing that we can truly start to see the world around us. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you like, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace, everyone.